In this video, we're going to customize and drift the E46 M3. Let's get into it. My name is Nikolai, and this is Joyshift. I like to film and build cool cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be the first one to watch new videos. We're going to learn a whole lot about cars, we're going to customize them, we're going to drive them, and just have a lot of fun with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So I want to go for a drift build with the car. I want to do something that is going to be very clean, and let's see what we can all do. So a body kit? What? We can do... Okay, now that is super sick, and that right there is insane. That's definitely not the approach I want to go with this, but wow, does that look so cool. I definitely do think those are sick, and that would actually be really cool for a drift car, but I want to keep it stock body. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of wide bodies on cars in general. I really do like the stock body look. I just think it's very streamlined, and it looks very good, so I don't want to really swap anything into this car, but let's go ahead and see what we can do for visuals. So the front bumper... Oh, I like that a lot. And then we have the typical Forza one. So do we go for a stock BMW M3 bumper or the street front bumper? I think let's go ahead and toss that one on there. Let's see what we can do as far as spoilers. So that's interesting. I'm not a fan of it, um, but oh, I like that a lot. So that looks like that's actually a carbon fiber trunk but it's got like a little mold to it. So it looks like it's got a little like lip spoiler in there. I really do like that. Let's see what other options we do have. We got a typical Forza wing and then a very big, big country labs wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one on there. I do like the little bit of exposed carbon fiber that they left that they did not paint. And now for rear bumper, I'm not really a fan of that one. I don't think it really works with the car. So let's go ahead and leave that stock. Now for wheels, let's see what we can go ahead and do. Actually, before we do wheels, I want to go ahead and get the fitment right. Because let's go ahead and toss a big brake kit onto the car. And then we're going to toss our drift springs and dampers on the car. So I want to just see what it's going to look like. Um, let's go ahead and do our roll bars as well. And then we can also do a roll cage. Let's see how that would look. I don't really like the way that roll cages look um it does kind of work on this car but let's just go for the sport one because we'll actually have the reinforcement but we won't actually be able to see it and then weight reduction we will also do that so now we can go back into our wheels and tires so actually for drifting i like to leave it stock compound um, and i'm going to leave it stock width all around i don't think we need to actually change that now let's go ahead and widen this track width so we can see how it looks we are going to take some of that camber out of the front but i just wanted to see how it looks that looks really nice i mean that is like ideal fitment in my opinion maybe we'll raise it slightly but i love how the tire is essentially almost like touching the top of the fender it's really cool how it looks um so i have a specific set of wheels i have in mind so the wheels i actually want to toss on the car are the work vs xx wheels so i think these do look very good now we are going to get rid of that like gold face to them because i think like a nice just like a silver or titanium look will look very good with these and we are going to change the actual color of the car but i think these do flow very nice with the build style that i'm going for which is just like a very clean look but i do think that it's ultimately still going to perform very well should we actually raise the wheel size i think if we raise it one bit how would that look I think that flows very nice. I do like that a lot. So now let's go ahead and do our engine. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and do just a few upgrades. We don't need too much power. I just want it to be a nice controllable amount. So let's see what would be, what would be, okay, so 400. I think if we can get to five to 600, that'll be optimal. So let's see what we can do just on like a naturally aspirated motor. I don't want anything too crazy. So I think that right there, 557 is pretty optimal. Now let's go ahead and listen to the exhaust and see which one we like the most. The race one and the sport one sound identical to me. Um, To be honest, the stock exhaust sounds most like an E46. These other ones don't really sound like it. So I'm actually gonna leave it stock exhaust. Now, as far as paints, I do wanna do the factory blue. I think this right here is a very beautiful color for the M3. Now, actually looking at it with the blue, I do like the way that those wheels look now in that color, but I think this is gonna look even better if we do this. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do our face, like a nice darker color. I think we'll go with that. Let's go for that. That one right there 
I think that looks very good on the car. And then for brake calipers, we're gonna go for a nice bright yellow. I think yellow is the way to go for a color like this. So I do love this setup right here. Now I think we're gonna adjust the fitment just a little bit. I do wanna raise the car and get a little bit of less camber up in the front. So as far as my tuning, the only thing I'm actually gonna change on here is going to be my camber and my spring. So camber, I'm gonna run negative two all around. I'm actually doing this mostly just for looks. I don't like having negative five in the front. I think it looks really bad. Even even if this is going to hurt drifting a little bit, I think it's worth it just for the looks because I don't like too much camber. And then as far as springs, we are going to run 7.6 in the front and then 8.1 in the rear. I think this is going to be an optimal setup to just have it look very good. So let's go and check it out in Forza Vista, just kind of see how the car looks. I think this is a very clean setup on the M3. I wish we could actually change the color of the interiors because imagine having like a chocolatey brown interior with this color, that would look phenomenal. But what do you guys think of this M3? Is it a clean look? Do you guys like it? Let's see how the car performs. This is a smooth drifting car. I like it. It's actually pretty grippy when you want it to have grip. And then when you want to drift, it can slide out. This is actually a really nice feeling car. We're definitely gonna have to try this out with the wheel and see how it feels because wow, I'm actually really liking this. I just think the E46 is such a raw car that like would be so fun to have in real life. But you know, at least in Forza, we can definitely enjoy the car. Turn it around and clutch kick it. And now let's go ahead and accelerate and then slam second. And this thing is already spinning right off the bat. I actually really like this. Can we kick it out? Okay, this is super controllable. One handed, I'm actually able to control this fairly well. Now let's straighten it out here and see how it is for like a somewhat more grip driving. I like the E46 M3 because I feel like this car can do a lot of things, but it is tuned in our case for drifting. So we are gonna see how this car feels. And I am running manual with clutch so I can actually feel, you know, I can clutch kick it throughout the corners. Let's see how first person looks. Actually, I kind of like the simplistic interior of the E46. Um, it's quite interesting. Let's see, can I go and clutch kick it and see if we can kind of, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Seems like the initiation is kind of, there's a little bit of hesitation there, but it seems for the most part pretty good. Let's see, oh, it's understeering. Okay, that's, that's quite interesting. So it seems like initiation is the concern here, but once it kicks out, let's see if we can, yeah, like once it kicks out, it's really controllable and, it, and it'll slide out pretty well. Like right here, let's try it again. Yeah, look, once it's, yeah, there we go. That's like really smooth. I actually like this a lot. And you know what, for trying to do some grip driving, it actually is pretty good at it, surprisingly. Um, I guess, eh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how this car feels, but let's try and kick it out one more time. Yeah, once you kick it out, it feels really good. It's just that initial, you know, just kicking it out the first time. Once you get like right here, see it kind of understeered, but now it feels pretty good. And I'm actually able to do this one handed. This actually feels really good. I think you guys would really like these wheel settings. I actually can have it linked in the description. If you want to see my wheel settings, these are great for drifting, grip driving, just everything in general. I really do enjoy them. Let's see downshift here. Oh, it sounds really good. And ah, it's just such a smooth car. Like I like, I think when you put drip suspension on a car like this, that's so well balanced, it just works really well. Um, although it is understeering, so we might have to fix that with some tuning, but once you kick it out, it's really controllable. I, I actually do like this a lot. We've got some other people over here drifting with us, you know, through the smoke, um, but it's actually a really interesting car, and I, I do like the way this thing feels. Um, so definitely try it out. You know, if you guys like this car and you like this video, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I enjoyed the E46 M3. We're going to have a whole lot of other car customizations on the channel. We'll see you in the next one.